Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini October 23, 2022. Energies early today are complicated, and they may very well stimulate any tendencies toward emotional extremes. The desire for new experiences and to move forward in your life can be undercut by a feeling that you can't quite let go of the past. Take things slowly. There could be some overreaction to little problems and minor events now, but these are likely symptoms of deeper issues. Be willing to face these matters with self-honesty for best results. Problem areas can surface now, but they're manageable and revealing. As the day advances, you're in great shape for rearranging or reorganizing your projects, plans, or personal environment. You're also paying closer attention to your inner longings, desires, and needs. You could notice the worst parts of your personality, or your partners, is rearing their ugly heads today. This is because sweet Venus, our goddess planet of romance and pleasure, will be strangled, tied up, and burnt at the stake by powerhouse Pluto, the most intense of planets. This will bring fury, vengeance, and hatred out in relationships where it has been lurking beneath the shadows. Don't get sucked into any nefarious or secretive dramas or affairs. This would ultimately poison your karma in ways your soul could never recover. Stand in the vibrancy of your integrity. Commit to your professional journey. Although scary, it is time for you to move forward to tap into your secret professional side when Venus in Libra squares Pluto in Capricorn. As you subconsciously transform your approach to your hidden talents and weaknesses, you may see your trajectory change based on what you choose to focus on. So, if you focus on your weaknesses, you might be taking a road less traveled to work on your soon-to-be strengths. If you are focusing on your talents, then you may see your career explode in unexpected ways. In a case of perfect timing, the moon returns for its first visit to your financial sector since Mercury left last week, seven days before Jupiter is due to retrograde back into your income sector. Before the focus shifts even more to the income side of the financial fence, this is a chance for the moon to move through and for time on the other side to unpack a download of information, insights, and messages. Give yourself an inch and you might take a mile. I recommend you bring that tendency poolside. Swimming is an exercise that benefits the body and mind, and it is not an expensive sport. Whether you are a beginner or a high school champ, try to integrate this lovely, low-impact sport into your life. It strengthens your lung capacity while toning your whole body, and once you get on a roll it can be like meditation. Weather permitting, it's a wonderful bonus to be outside. There are always moments of calm before a storm. This is what the current vibrations have to teach you. Be prepared for great changes in your sentimental life and try to keep your serenity before the uncertainties of life in the coming days. Even if the atmosphere is a little electric, don't hesitate to relax and be more open. In this way you will avoid useless conflict and be able to rapidly regain your inner harmony. While the moon's clash with Saturn in Aquarius yesterday may have created some personal or relationship tension, the timing couldn't be better. Two days before Saturn is due to end his last retrograde phase in your sign for another three decades, the moon wraps up a visit to your relationship sector that has put your personal and relationship needs to the test. As Jupiter moves into his final seven days in your communication sector you not only have a better sense of your own and your relationship needs but a chance to give them a voice. On the same day that Jupiter moves into his final seven days in your communication sector and of his mission to give the past and unsaid words a voice, the moon wraps up its monthly visit to your relationship sector. This was the moon's first visit since the last planet left with its clash with Saturn yesterday leaving you with a better sense of what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. Our eyes in the sky. There is plenty to process on an emotional level now. Make sure you're honoring your time and giving yourself plenty of space to stretch out. This can mean that people are not honoring their boundaries and overlapping with your aura field throughout the day. Although the lunar vibes make it easier to let things bounce off you, there is a darker element to this as well. 
This can be especially true with certain family members, such as siblings, or even neighbors, because yesterday's aspects could be stirring up arguments left and right. You must honor yourself and let toxic connections take care of themselves. For those who are in family disputes, this is a good time to armor up psychologically and be very honest with yourself about your personal space and needs. Yesterday's Pluto energy hasn't cleared from the skies, and it adds a dramatic undertone to unconscious behaviors. Let someone show you who they are even if it hurts to see it. Be careful of what you say. Your own words may be contradictory. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by saying things that go against your own personal desires and inner beliefs. Make sure that what comes out of your mouth, keyboard, or touch screen is coming from your heart. You're likely to be in a much chattier frame of mind with activity in your house of personal expression and appearance. You may be thinking about changing the way you present yourself to the world. Assuming a professional demeanor means that you can get a new job, if you like, or move up at your current employer. Money and a key to the executive lavatory come with the new office. This is a spiritual lesson, and it can even mean you're feeling a telepathic connection to someone at this time. That doesn't mean they aren't violating your need for space, and this can go both ways, so be very mindful of this, because your mind is going through a process of merging right now. In the pre-dawn hours, the Leo moon sextiles Venus in Libra, stimulating a sense of well-being. We can be ourselves without pretense, charming friends and admirers with our outgoing attitude. Since many of us will be asleep at this hour, this transit may manifest in the form of happy dreams where we are reunited with loved ones. Guides take the form of family or relatives who affirm that we attract the proper relationships when we are brave enough to express ourselves authentically. Following this, the moon sextiles the Libra sun, perpetuating the good vibes born of the moon Venus sextal. If we are asleep, pleasant dreams continue. If we are awake, we connect with others based on mutual interests or shared ideals. Our emotional and egoic desires are in sync. This influence is unlikely to manifest dramatic events. In fact, we might not realize how smoothly the day is going until this aspect has passed. This is ideal, it suggests we are living in the moment and sucking the marrow out of life. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect's perfection, proposing that we avoid starting new projects.